Uh, my name is Chris Baxter, I'm 23 years old and I'm looking forward to playing today. I've trained so hard for it so I'm excited to see how I can do. Alright, so if you can walk forward to that one and then fold your arms. So the show um, is with BBC One and it's called The Day That Changed My Life. It's basically filming um, the backstory on some people who have life changing results. Hopefully those results will be me getting either trials at a professional team or um, getting scouted just to go, well, hopefully trials or hopefully getting signed. But um, it's an exciting time so they're filming all the behind the scenes stuff and then kind of showing like what goes into it and uh, it's an exciting time. So. Oh, so we filmed with Chris the other day which is what we call a backstory which is where we kind of do a master interview where we ask him all the questions about why he wanted to become a professional footballer, what are the steps, what it all means to him and then now we've come along today to follow him in the trial. So I've taken about five years off playing which was a massive regret but looking back on it I think I needed that time to develop as a character and, and like kind of grow up a bit. So it's good to come back into it now and I've kind of refound my love for it, which I can't believe I ever lost. How's it going, Chris? Yeah, good, it's hot today. I'm sweating today. Yeah. <laughs> Hold him, hold him! The shot, the shot! It's hard because I'm on my left foot now. So. I said technically, they're a very, very gifted player. Just needs to be that little bit more game affected now. Understanding his roles and responsibilities, sort of in and out of possession. Really. But uh, overall, he's a, he's a great man, he's got a great attitude. And if he's got that dream and he wants to become a football player, you know, it, it can be done. So, fair, it's been good intensity. We're training well, but um, I think we're jumping into some matches now, which is going to be good. I'm excited about that because now hopefully I can feel warm, so hopefully I can showcase my talent now. I'll be on the other yeah. side. Uh, get, your might foot, be... get your foot work, mate. It's like an ECG, isn't it? Where did he put it? Just like we put it down, we've got the one from Manchester City put it down, um, and uh, it's the most speaks to the Northern guys to see if they're playing. Okay, mate. Yeah, it's all of them. Yeah, it was, um, it was good, it was tough again. I mean, I'm not too happy with how I performed, but it's not, you're not always going to play your best. So I think now I've got to take what I can get and then um, I think move forward from there. I've had, I've had interest from a couple already, a couple of scouts already, which is nice. So just got to wait and see what the final verdict is and then um, just keep improving. So all I can do is just keep improving. At the end of the day, that's, um, that's what I'm out here for. So. Yeah, so I finished, um, I did the trials um, earlier in the year um, and then I ended up signing for team. So obviously the, the platform was amazing for me. It really helped me to kind of find a team and get my feet back into it. And um, it's all gone really well. I've played a few games for the first team. I've signed with them now. Um, and I've, I'm just kind of like fighting for my spot really. So it's, it's good. I've just got to keep working hard. And, but it's all really good. I'm really happy. We're top of the league at the moment. Um, we're unbeaten as well, so we're doing really well. I've actually moved up the pitch from left back now, so I'm playing left wing, um, and I'm going to start trying to push for for the striker role as well because I feel like that's actually now that I've got my confidence back, that's where I feel most comfortable on the pitch. Yeah, the level's really good actually. It's really competitive, and there's a lot of players actually in the team that I play with, or even that I play against that could probably make it quite quite far in football. So. It's a great. It's given me a great understanding of the of kind of the industry again and like where where to play and the level is just 
it is tough, but it's definitely something which I can work on. I know I can keep progressing. I think I can get higher than this. So I've just got to keep working on it. Yeah, so the UK Football Challenge platform is honestly amazing. You guys have been amazing for me. We've, um, it's weird because we came to the single day trials, but I also did the camp with you guys. When I did the camp, it really helped me progress. Like more than anything, like, I, that whole week was so beneficial to me. And getting to know everyone, getting comfortable in um, on and off the pitch was just so good that the platform is a dream for anyone who wants to make it in football. Honestly, like if anyone wants to get the opportunity to play in front of uh, people who have an influence in, then that's definitely the place to be. I wouldn't actually recommend anything else. I'm, I love it down there and the guys are great. So yeah, you guys are winning.